SNES games are coming to Nintendo Switch Online. And uh, it's been a long time coming now that we've been getting new NES games every month since the launch of paid Nintendo Switch Online in September, but also following the announcement that they will be discontinuing this thing along with the NES Classic, it just makes too much sense that we are getting all NES, SNES games through Nintendo Switch Online, especially if they discontinue also the Wii U eShop. Nintendo Switch's biggest weakness in 2018 was by far the introduction of paid Nintendo Switch Online. Of course, beside not having too many games, but we had Smash, so that kind of evened things out. But it looks like in 2019, Nintendo is going to take Nintendo Switch Online much more seriously, and that is also something we pointed out in the first video this year, when we talked about the need for improvements for Nintendo Switch's uh, online pay paid service uh, this year. And uh, the first thing that we would love to is a more stable online experience, but uh, it looks like that is more complicated and harder to get than adding Super Nintendo Entertainment System titles. And now thanks to Cappuccino Heck and his data mine, we know that a total of 22 SNES titles are heading to the Nintendo Switch Online. We don't know specifically when, but obviously there have been rumors going around and also uh, hints regarding uh, Nintendo Direct this week. So don't be surprised if it suddenly shows up there, uh, even though we know that uh, we already got the announcement of the January games, that being The Legend of Zelda to The Adventure of Link and Blaster Master and uh, people have been a little bit uh, skeptical when it comes to the number of games coming each month but uh, it looks like maybe if February is being brewed for the introduction of uh, SNES games on the Nintendo Switch Online that could improve the service and obviously with that they would also have to announce oh yeah we are also bringing this SNES style controllers just like we had the NES online controllers that came out a few weeks ago. The question is of course uh, how long it will take for this service to uh, be expanded to SNES games because uh, we know that obvious games like Super Mario World, uh, The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, uh, Yoshi's Island, uh, Super Metroid, Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby's Superstar Saga, Pilot Wings, F Zero, and, and so on are all going to be on, on this system, obviously, along with titles like Star Fox and Star Fox 2 and uh, even uh, Super Mario All Stars. Based on the information we have currently, it looks like the promise of SNES games will come true sometime in 2019 and based on this data mine and the fact that uh, we are already kind of scrapping the barrel of Nintendo games when it comes to the NES online um, experience, it wouldn't come as a surprise if February or March would bring the first SNES uh, games because that's a system that had way more Nintendo games coming to the system compared to say the NES because we had more franchises, we had the beginning of franchises like Mario Kart, F-Zero, Star Fox, uh, you name it. Obviously people will also be waiting for Earthbound but based on the list that has been provided we haven't seen anything of Earthbound yet. But what is more interesting is that this data mine doesn't only point to there being SNES games, which obviously will run off an emulator, similarly to the NES online games. And many have complained that the emulator that it's running from is not the best quality. It's, it has its technical problems and hopefully these will be handled this year. And the same goes with the SNES games, which have uh, an even higher technical demand, obviously, than the 8-bit uh, NES games. What I've also been hinting here is that we have uh, multiple code names for other emulators and people obviously would jump to oh Nintendo 64 and GameCube emulators but the thing is it's more likely that it is uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance emulators. Why? Uh, the, uh, the question is at least Game Boy or Game Boy Advance emulators or at the best Nintendo 64 and the reason is very simple because on the Wii U's virtual console we only had SNES, NES and Game Boy Advance games and a few I think we had a few uh, DS titles as well so uh, we never had GameCube games and that's um, that's another reason why that might seem a little bit uh, far-fetched to to claim because by closing slowly the virtual console on also the Wii U it looks like they're trying to move more and more of their classic game experience over to the Nintendo Switch online paid uh, paid service and um, based on all the information we have thus far it seems that this will be 
a, a gradual process that say we get SNES games now in the uh, first half of uh, 2019 and then next we'll get the N64 games or Game Boy Advance games or Game Boy games and, and so on. So it will be going all the way like this until say 2020 or or even further beyond in, in 2021. But uh, it looks like they will be actually putting out new emulators or online experiences more often than uh, than it seemed like because they will be reaching a point where games that you put out are not that interesting or top tier anymore as some of the other games have and that's why I think we'll have say pretty much seasons when it comes to these games that are coming to the Nintendo Switch Online uh, whether it being the NES Entertainment System or the Super Nintendo Entertainment System that might be now coming to the Nintendo Switch Online. So my prediction is now that it will be probably be getting Nintendo Entertainment System games until say March, April and then from February we'll have the SNES games coming out March, April, May, June and then say the next Nintendo Direct after E3 in September could bring N64 or Game Boy Advance or Game Boy games to the Nintendo Switch Online. It's, it's going to be a gradual process where we get more and more uh, of these systems and games that uh, will be uh, in the Nintendo Switch Online subscription service. So uh, it, it, the $20 will be much more worth than it was in the first few months of its uh, running in 2018 and the first month in 2019. But what do you all think about this? Do you think that uh, we'll be getting the SNES uh, games to Nintendo Switch uh, online already in February or will we have to wait until March, April, maybe even E3? Leave your answer in the comment section down below and of course if you enjoyed this video then make sure to like it and if you're new subscribe and press that shiny notification bell and for all notifications do not miss any of our Nintendo Direct, Nintendo Switch and other Nintendo content on this channel. We also want to of course thank our Patreons and thank you to all new supporters as well. We need Patreon support more than ever because ad revenue plummets as always in January and also we need a few people that we need to replace on Patreon. On that note, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.